This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today, I'm going to show you an absolutely super cheesy way to defeat old Yagi Boy, the fifth boss. Let's get to it. Okay, so to do this, it takes little to no preparation. You're just gonna need a few things. You're gonna need some stone. I just, just get a stack just to be on the safe side. You probably won't need it, but just bring it anyway. You're gonna need some wood to place a bench. You know, so you're gonna need 10 of that. You're gonna need a hoe so you can raise the ground. And then whatever weapon you want to go with uh, club-wise because they can attack up, you're going to need to attack up. Um, not attacking up, kind of a little iffy, or something with an AoE like Stag Breaker or Iron Sledge. Uh, honestly, you could use a mace, any a mace that you want to use, but Frost Nerd does a lot of damage to him, works well. Uh, but it's all a matter of how long you want to take to bring him down. It really doesn't matter in the long run because we're going to completely shut him down and he won't be able to do anything. So, yeah. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to place down a bench close by. Like that. Look at that. Isn't that great? Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to... Oh, you're going to need a pickaxe too, obviously, because you need to dig in the ground. Uh, so, you're going to need a pickaxe. You're going to dig right along the edge of this bad boy. Of his altar, where it is altar, by the way, if you don't, you don't know, watch my whole guide, if you haven't seen my whole guide, uh, watch that for all the other prep and how to defeat him without cheesing him and all that stuff, but anyway, we're gonna dig along the side here, and then you're just gonna dig down into it, like this, we're gonna dig one more, you wanna be able to see when you're trying to see out, otherwise, this won't work, so, um, once you've done that, wanna make sure that you're set to raise the ground, I'm gonna bring this in, just a little more, something like that. Make sure you can still get down in here. Uh, we still can't, so let's uh, kind of knock that away. Okay, now we can get under here uh, nice and easy like so. So that's what we want. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to summon him. So bam, 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 and bam, and then do that. Then you're going to run for the hole that you just made. And uh, you're going to get down in here. You're going to select your hoe, build out in front of you first and then build right here like that and that should pop you up inside of it you'll know you're up inside of it when you look up and, and it looks like that you can see the death skeeto up there cannot even get us um i'm not in go god i'm not in ghost i tried to say god and ghost at the same time uh that doesn't work but anyway not in god not in ghost none of that you can see he wants to target me but he can't he can't do anything so now at this point you can attack up like this and hit him that way. The other thing you can do is if you get positioned right, be careful because you can walk out of this, is you can swing if you can get him to move right. Here we go, now we got him targeting us uh, and we can just do that and just keep backing up because you keep moving forward when you attack like this. But honestly, your best bet is to do this over and over and over again. Hit him, back up, hit him, back up. And uh, you get the idea. Now, you can also use a hammer. So if we grab the hammer here and you can smash, you smash like this. And this works really well, too, because you don't have to do anything crazy and you don't walk forward. And you can see we're just slowly knocking him down. It doesn't do as much damage, but eventually he will do like he's doing here where he wants to stay over top of you. I don't know what he was doing there right there at the beginning, but he should be like this. And then you can... You can just keep hammering his face and knock him down really quick like that. And um, yeah, so uh, if you want to cheese him, that's that's all you got to do. And then once you've, you're done and you've killed him like this, and you just uh, walk out the same way we walked out of the tree when we did the bone mass cheesy mess method this way. Um, and that's all there is to it. Super short, sweet video. He won't even mess with your bench. As you saw, he doesn't even care because he wants you and he can't figure out how to get to you. Yeah. Okay. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed it, consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other Valheim content. And I cover all kinds of different games, so you never know when I'm going to be making guides for a game that you may be playing. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.